so today we will see the peritoneal tracing so first is the vertical tracing so anterior side we have the anterior abdominal wall posterior side is the posterior abdominal wall this is the umbilicus so we'll start from here so the peritoneal re reflexing lies underneath the anterior abdominal wall then it will reach up to the diaphragm and after that it uncloses the liver at the porta hepatis this layer will reflect on the stomach and it will cover the anterior surface of the stomach then reflecting downward as a greater omentum and again this will reflect toward the transverse colon so this is the stomach this is the transverse colon this is the pancreas so now this layer will come toward the posterior abdominal wall and it will unclose the small intestine and again it will reflect going toward the posterior abdominal wall and unclose the sigmoid colon then anterior part of the rectum so this is the rectum this layer will cover the anterior surface of the rectum and upper surface of the urinary bladder and again it will reach up to the umbilicus so this is the reflected peritoneum now we will trace the other layer same it will enclose the liver at the porta hepatis it will cover the posterior surface of the stomach and going downward and enclose the upper part of the transverse colon then reflect it toward the posterior abdominal wall in the upper part and this cavity is known as the lesser sac this is smaller cavity and this is the bigger cavity is known as the greater sac and the portion between the liver and the stomach is known as the lesser omentum and ex extending from the stomach this is known as the greater omen omentum so as you know greater omentum has four layers first second third and fourth layer and this is known as the epiploic foramen it is a communication between the greater sac and the lesser sac so this is the lesser sac this is the greater sac and below side if you will come in case of male we have one pouch or one space between the rectum and the urinary bladder this is known as the recto vesical pouch between the rectum and the bladder same diagram in case of female we have two pouch so this is the rectum uterus and the bladder so between the rectum and the uterus we have the recto uterine pouch or also known as the pouch of douglas 
between the uterus and the bladder we have the utero vesical pouch so in female we have two pouch in the male only one now we will see the reflection again this is the stomach this portion you know transverse colon here the small intestine this is the sigmoid colon now see from the liver to the stomach we have the lesser momentum so this is a reflection of the peritoneum and from the lower part of the stomach to the transverse colon we have the greater momentum and from the transverse colon till the pancreas we have the transverse mesocolon so the reflection is known as the transverse mesocolon and this reflection toward the small intestine from the posterior abdominal wall we have the mesentery and toward the sigmoid colon we have the sigmoid mesocolon so this is the lesser sac behind the stomach greater sac anterior to the stomach now we will trace the horizontal side so in the horizontal tracing again we have to see this is the liver anterior to the liver we have the falciform ligament where you will see the two reflection or bilaminar reflection so this will cover the full liver so identify the side this is the right side and another side we have this is the left side so now we'll trace horizontally so posterior side will come these are the kidneys so on the right side we have the right kidney left side is the left kidney so this layer will cover the anterior surface of the right kidney then this is the inferior vena cava and abdominal aorta so this layer will cover the anterior side of the inferior vena cava and abdominal aorta then anterior surface of the left kidney then it is reflecting toward the stomach and it will cover the posterior part of the stomach and back reflect it toward the porta hepatis other layer left side we will trace left side it is coming and it will cover the side of the kidney left kidney and it will unclose the spleen and from the spleen it is reflected toward the stomach then it will cover the anterior surface of the stomach and then back to the liver so this is the horizontal tracing this area or this is known as the lesser sac and this is the greater sac and you will see communication between the lesser sac and the greater sac this is the epiploic foramen